Good morning from a uh, bit of a misty uh, North Devon beach. Um, I'm out with the legend today. Um, be working on obviously the uh, multi frequency wet of ground balanced. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see what I can pick up today. Uh, Tires gradually going out. Um, the sun's supposed to be out later on, so I'm happy with that. And if anybody knows how to, I'm using my camera, uh, my uh, phone. Obviously, that's reading backwards. I'd, what what do I press to make that turn round the proper way? Uh, if anybody can help me on that, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Um, a lot of people watch the uh, videos, but don't leave any comments. Um, I like comments. Um, it just shows feedback. So please uh, comment on my videos as well. Be much appreciated. Right, moving on. First coin. Um, got to be a 2p. Looking at it. Can't be anything else. It's been down there quite a bit. Look at it. The state of it. Right, moving on. Just found this. Um, out of that hole there. I read in a 42. Now I know what PTE stands for, it's private, and there's a name there, and a regimental number. Um, I'm going to try and get that back to the owner, if they're still alive, or to the family. There's, obviously it's a chain there. Very nice. This is Church of England, Royal Berkshire. I think it's a Royal Berkshire. That is a very interesting find. Very interesting. Absolutely made up with that. Wow. Lovely. Right, moving on. Just dug this up. There's a coin. Could be a sixpence. Could well be a sixpence actually. That's the size of a sixpence, all right. <coughs> yeah, I'll give that a clean when I get back, get all that crud off. But I reckon that could be a sixpence. Right, moving on. Just found this lead seal. Um, don't know whether there's any lettering or anything on it, but it's definitely a seal. I think there may be something on there actually, just there. Uh... Okay, moving on. Just uh, dug this up. Um, it's just a stud, that's all it is. Right, moving on. <coughs> Little coin out of black sand. I think it's a coin, or oh, it could be a, it's a free, uh, free old button. That's what it is. I can see it now. Right, moving on. Another four old button. I think I said free old last time, it's a four old. Right, moving on. Just dug this up. Um, to me, that looks like a little musket ball. Musket shot. Right, moving on. This is reading 3031 and it's in there somewhere. There it is. Piece of rubbish. It was 
check your rubbish because there could be something else. Right, moving on. Such a beautiful day. Uh, lots of people on the beach at the top there, We're all with the dog. Yapping away. And I've got all this beach to myself. The tide's really gone out now, as you can see. There's Apple Door shipyard across there. And we've got Apple Door, lovely little place to go into, with some nice little restaurant. And then if you go further around, there's a gap there. We've got the, uh, the sea. And if you go further that way, you've got a place called Crow's Point. Nearly went in. Nearly went in. Yeah, I'm on multi frequency wet. Um, got it on 30, uh, obviously beach mode. And uh, yeah, I did the ground balance when I started. And it tell you what, it does not pick up the small bits. Right, moving on. Just got this up out the black sand. Um, I don't know what it is. If it's anything, I'll get back to you. I'm thinking, is it a fob or just a piece of junk? I don't know. If it's anything, I'll get back to you anyway. This was reading 38 and it's in there. Need be a coin. Yeah, it's a coin. Could that be another sixpence? It's about the same size. Give that a clean when I get back. Right, moving on. Just flipped it over and it looks like a dog tag. Let's get it out. Give it a wash. Yep, what's a dog tag? My owner's name is Art. <laughs> uh, recently lost, I would say. Phone number's there. Right, moving on. Another four old button out the uh, black sand. Look how preserved it is. That'll just rub off. It's, yeah, you, when you uh, do find stuff in the black sand, it, it, it's absolutely preserved. Lovely. Okay, moving on. Belter of a signal, and out the black sand pops this. A Royal Artillery. Um, that would have been put on the lapel of a jumper, shirt, or whatever. That is quite cool. My old regiment, quite pleased with that. Quite pleased with that. Give it a swill. Yeah, it's only out that hole there. Lovely, quite happy with that. Right, moving on. Just found this, I don't know what it is. Probably a stud or, I don't know. Blue in the middle. Right, moving on. Just found this, um, smallest key I've ever found. Something different. Right, moving on. Just pulled this coin up. 
I think it's a 20 pence piece. Yeah, 20p all right. Yeah, see it's shining through. Right, moving on. Right then, uh, back from me dig. Got me old coffee there. All right, let's go through the finds. I'll go through the scrap first. Loads of scrap. Okay, um, you know, if it's a good signal, you're gonna have to dig them. And if you look at some of these, how small they are, you know, the legend just picks them out. Uh, so yeah, loads of scrap there. <coughs> Actually thought that was a seal at first, when it first came out, but uh, not to be, which is a shame. Yeah, so that's all my scrap at the bottom. Lots of bits and bobs. Right, um, four old buttons. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I believe that's one in there. This one actually came out of black sand, and that's how it came out, virtually preserved, where the others are all caked up, which were not found in the black sand. Um, one shell case. One uh, dog tag. Uh, one little key. Um, a seal. I think it may have a little bit of detail on that. Yeah, I think there may be some lettering. I'll have a closer look at that one. Uh, two sixpences, 50% silver. That one's 1928. And this one is 1940. They were caked up with this green stuff. I just put it, put it in lemon juice and slowly rubbed it off. Uh, 50 pence piece from, I think it's 1998. Uh, 20 pence piece. Um, really battered 2p. It's gotta be a 2p. Right, um, fines from uh, the uh, my best finds, I should say, is the Royal Artillery badge. That would have been put on a lapel or jumper shirt. Okay, and as you see there, there's two sort of prongs, and the pin would have gone through there. Yeah, that was a nice find. Uh, find of the day for me was this. Um, Hopefully that the powers of the internet will try and find um, living relatives and I want to push this out there for people to uh, uh, share for me. It's got Private S. Jewelry, his army number 3665, C of E, so he was Church of England and he served in the 8th Royal Berkshire Regiment. Now, the Berkshire Regiment was a line infantry regiment of the British Army. And it was in existence from 1881 up until uh, 1959. And they engaged in combat, um, the Second Boer War, World War I and World War Two. The nickname was the Biscuit Boys. Um, I checked uh, the details of this guy here. On regimental records and he was in the regiment in 1914 so he would have seen action um, in World War One but I'd like to get that back to any living relative um, by the powers of Facebook um, hopefully I can um, obviously it was attached to um, his probably his kit bag or whatever this was all caked up, I just put it in lemon juice and it all came loose again. Yeah, so that there is my find of the day. A lot of history. Right, that's my find for the uh, beach hunt and I'll see you on the next. Don't forget to like and support. It really means a lot to me.